Hi guys, today I'm going to be doing one of my most requested videos that I always get every single time and that is a glitch style for editing tutorial. Hi, my name is Tati. If you're new here, I'm an editor and my username is my Tati on TikTok. You can go follow. I thought I had more to that, but I guess not. But yeah, today we're gonna be doing a glitch edit tutorial. Don't wanna waste too much of your time, so we're gonna hurry and get started. But first, first, a few disclaimers. I wanna say that this video is not for beginners. Not that beginners aren't capable of doing this. I love my beginner babies. But I'm just saying that some of the things I'm gonna be saying and using in this edit slash tutorial are things that beginners may not know how to do or may not know what I'm talking about at all. It's not like super complex, but it's just like if you just picked up After Effects yesterday, I don't recommend this video. With that, if you aren't a beginner, you know that a lot of edits require plugins. So yes, you'll need a couple different plugins. Me personally, I have like every plugin in the book um, so I will be using a lot of plugins in this video. And then the last thing I want to say is that I already have tutorials on some of what I'm explaining. I'm not going to go in depth about what shakes I use. I just did a shake tutorial guide. Um, so you guys can go check that out. Mainly I'm just going to be telling you how I construct a glitch edit. I also have a more in depth tutorial, like with specifics and shakes. And I tell you how to do everything from start to finish and whatnot. Um, and that is my glitch slash jug style tutorials. I have two of them, but I'm not going to call this style jug because it's not. And because the whole internet uh you know criticize me for saying jug when it wasn't jug but it's fine it's okay <laughs> uh so yeah let's just get started and i hope the quality on my videos are much better i kind of switched some things around because i decided to be innovative while i'm turning the screen recording on i always get confused when you ask for these videos because i do nothing special but i guess there's not many tutorials on glitch style so i kind of see anyways let's get started Hey guys, okay, so this is the edit that we are basing the transitions off of. The way I'm going to break this video up is into sequences. So the first sequence, I'll teach you three transitions, and then the second one, I'll teach you kind of like one to two, I think. So yeah, let's get started with the first one. So once again, if you picked up After Effects yesterday, this video is not for you. Right now, we are starting with a zoom in transition. I use Blurmo Curves. Some people use Transform, but Blurmo Curves just works for me. Now I do my exposure. It's from two to zero. Some people use brightness. Um, me personally, it depends. Sometimes on a good day, I'll use brightness. Sometimes I'll use exposure. And then on my transition edit, sometimes I will add BCC Lens Blur OBS just for an extra smoothness I feel like it gives. I put my first keyframe at 15 and my last one at zero. And then here's my graph in case you're curious. And then I'm going to add one of my Twitch shakes, specifically number three, if you have my pack that I sell on Payhip. If you don't have my pack, I already have a shake tutorial on my channel. I've mentioned I do this many times, but for extra movement, I'll scale my clip from 110 to zero no keyframes but uh that's just for like extra movement because i hate when it's just still and next i'm going to just copy and paste my exposure and bcc lens blur obs to my other clip because the exposure and blur i see that as kind of like our clip base if that makes sense and then a tip that i always give you guys is on mac if you highlight your keyframes and hold down option and move them to the correct area of the clip that you want it won't mess with the graph next is a little opacity transition these are pretty popular with glitch style make the first keyframe zero and the second one at the end 100 and i don't graph it because it just looks smoother without the graph i've tried so many graphs with opacity transitions and i just hate all of them then i add an x shake which again is from my pack and i have a tutorial somewhere my jug stat tutorial i have it on there so you can you know figure out the settings okay so now that that's done we're going to move on to our last clip make sure you copy and paste your exposure and blur and look up s dissolve luma your first keyframe is going to be 100 and your last one is going to be zero this is also kind of a fade in just do not sleep on these type of transitions with glitch style okay it somehow looks good and this is my graph because i struggle with my graph so that's why i always try to make sure that i show you my graph then for movement i did a scale transition kind of from um, 100 to 140 and then i made my graph look like this it's very tiktok style i learned that from doing tiktok edits and then we have one frames it's the one frames where the pants in the relationship of a glitch style edit okay i already said that i wasn't going to show specifics i have a lot of one frame um presets there's a lot of one frame videos on youtube that you can go and look up i'm working on a pack to sell one frames on my pip but i don't want to post it until i have like a lot of one frames if you know what i mean there's a lot of videos like that on youtube so i mainly do three one frames in the beginning of every clip and then like two at the end of each clip so you can kind of see what i'm doing here and these are the lovely results after one frames and our transitions 
Okay, so we have two clips here. First, make sure your first clip has a shake on it. I'm doing a Y shake and then I'm adding my exposure and motion tile. The goal here was to make a zoom out transition, but before I wanted it to zoom out, I wanted it to zoom in just a little bit. So here's my graph on how I do that. Then go to your second clip and you can barely see it, but there is a shape mask tool. You're gonna click Q through that until you get rounded edges and then you're gonna double click the shape tool and it'll like round it out for you. Scale your clip back just a little bit before pre-composing. Then do a basic zoom out and instead of, you know, doing it to where it stops at the clip, I'm doing it further back so that there's a black background and then you're going to hit the 3d uh, icon i don't have specific settings for this you can of course look at my numbers here but i just wanted it to have a bit of movement so that it wasn't just like stiff and flat the entire time this clip was playing i think it's so important because the glitch style is typically stiff because there's not a lot of transitions going on so i think it's super important to add movement wherever you can like doing the you know scale from 100 to 110 just like small movement but not like super impactful then this is my graph for anyone that is curious i was not very happy with the graph i'm not gonna lie but anyways next get a new solid and make it whatever color you want and then put it below the original clip and also get an overlay this is a glitch overlay and i put the blending mode on screen and i turned down the opacity a little bit because sometimes the overlay can be too much you can honestly just look up glitch overlays and something like this will pop up on youtube surely i also add drop shadow to the you know clip that's coming out and zooming out i do the one frames three in the beginning of the clip and then one to two at the end and this is the result also you want to add panning and flicker i already have a panning tutorial on my account somewhere but um for my flicker i use s shake and then i make the flicker like 2800 to 3000 one of those settings and now that is all for the tutorial i need to go work on finishing my own glitch edit okay guys i'm finally done and this is how the edit turned out it's okay um however like Never get your audios from SoundCloud. This is the third time I've gotten my audio from SoundCloud and it sounds like it loops, but the loop does not match, which is, so I don't even know if I could post this. So anyways, that's how I do my glitch style. Most of the time I do my transitions first and then I do my one frame. I hope this video was somewhat informative. If you want to watch it on my account, I don't know if I put it up there. Um, then it's gonna be films by dot. And yeah, okay, love you, bye. I know I promoted like the life out of my stuff in this video. Um, genuinely, I have tutorials on everything I spoke about on my account already besides one frame specifically. However, if you do like my stuff and you do want to support me, I have a pay hip and I have a lot of packs on there such as shake packs and most recently my glitch pack. It has everything I use for my glitch edits from colorings to shakes to one frames and overlays. So if you want to buy that, I would greatly appreciate that. And if it's too much and it's too expensive, then and of course you're not obligated to buy it at all. I do think Thank you to anyone who does and yeah okay bye